Okay, guys, we got the timer on. We're gonna turn the key for it. We're gonna see how quick we can do this, guys. We can reprogram these keys. Uh, we're gonna press this button, kind of give you guys a heads up. The car with the eye on the side of it, then we're gonna press the, the check button. So, uh, turn the key for it. Let's set the timer. Let's try to set back just the full timer so it don't count for it. It's not a stopwatch, it's a timer, so it counts backwards. We're gonna set the top timer for let's try two minutes. See how quick we can do it within a two minute time frame. So, ready, set, go. Start it. Key for it. Press this button. Read on the key. Okay, we gotta clear this message, otherwise, it won't work. All right, hold it. Check button. And hold the, the, the lock in the. Unlock button until we hear a beep. That's one of them. That's the other one. All right, guys. I want to stop it. I want to stop. All right, we did like less than a minute though. Okay, we're we're done. We can get up out of this now. Just press the button. So you want to hold the check button until it uh, it tells you that it's activated. So we should be good now. All right, let's turn the key back. Let's test them out. Work perfect. Let's unlock them. Two time for both sides. Perfect. Let's try the tailgate, guys. Window opens up fine with the remote. It doesn't work with this, guys, because the button, of course, like most of them, is missing. It's torn out the switch. So we're going to replace that, too, and this. But this is cool. So now I'm able to open the window when I'm... Before I wasn't able to open it. So close this down. The liftgate motor is bad, guys. We're gonna replace that actuator in there as well. I got a all the parts are coming, so these videos will be, be within the next few weeks. It's not working. The lights showing us that we're, we're holding it. But it's not working. This is just trying to open, but it's not working. You can hear it, guys. So be on the lookout for the video with this actuator. We're gonna change that out as well. So everything appears to be working fine. Lock, unlock, perfect. Mirror's blinking. Let's unlock, lock one, perfect. Unlock it. We got two new key fobs. So um, we're all good now. I'm gonna replace this one. I may could have gotten this one to like work. I probably could have relearned this one as well, but. The buttons sink way in, and I don't want to uh, reuse this. So I'll put this uh, away for merch, and it's cracked. I don't know if this affects the functionality, but we don't use this anymore. So uh, install the new one on the key fob. So uh, the next video, guys, with this will be, uh, I'll, I'll put a list of all the videos that I'll be doing with this within the next few weeks. So be on the lookout for that, guys. Uh, if you found this video helpful, guys, subscribe to the channel. Terrence and I. All right, guys, it's just, the rain won't stop. I forgot to check the remote start. Let's check and see if the remote start works. Press lock twice. Hold the swirl button. Perfect. Also, one last thing you guys want to note. If your service engine light is on in your vehicle, remote start will be disabled. It will not work. Period. So.